All right, let's get to it. D, my declarations. They're daily, but I'm not going to post daily about my declarations. I say them daily to myself, but I'm not going to post daily unless God tells me to or unless it's something that I can't like keep to myself. So, today's declaration is I can do this. So, say to yourself, I can do this. Declare you can do this. If you feeling frustrated about something if you're feeling um angry about something um if you're stressing about something um just declare and decree that you can do it and because my scripture is psalms 413 which states which states which states which states i can do all things through christ who strengthens me or which strengthens me in some um, versions, but you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Even though we may go through this and that, even though we don't feel like doing this or that, even though we feel like giving up completely, sometimes on life completely, cause you just ah. Oh. So we got this. So. And with it being a new year, this is a new year, right? So, you know how some people say new year, new me, <laughs> new year, new me, whatever. Um, me, personally, I've been working at this for seven long months. I started in June with affirmations, ended December 31st. Well, it's still continuous, but you know what I'm saying. So... I've been at a good self-evaluation, self looking at myself, really digging in myself, what's going on with me, what's wrong with me. So I can say this is a new mindset for me, new determination, um, year of new connections. And as our my church's theme is this the year of strength. So new strength is going to come about, new strength is going to you know, get that strength is that my move right there. So, in me professing and proclaiming that I can do this, first I have to work and not just talk about it. I really have to be about it. See, a lot of times, um, most of us have talked stuff, talk that talk, talk that talk, but never walk that talk. Never talk, yeah, never walk that talk. That's what I meant to say. So, we have to get to the mindset. We have to really say what we mean. We have to do what we talk. Walk the walk and talk the talk. So we have to really come together, get our focus right on the Lord and not let anything distract us. Like I've said this, I say this so many times. Focus on the God means getting your word, pray fast when God calls you to fast. And block out anything that is going to just hurt your attention from God. Anything that is negative. Anything that brings in lust. Anything that brings in temptation. Like, you have to get it off of that and get it on Him. That's the only one who counts. And you have to put your all into it. If you're for real about God, you have to put your all into it. You have to put your mind into it. You have to put your heart into it. Because... This is the time that God is getting ready to bless us. Because with if you know, we can touch that, this time He's going to bless us because He's looking for people who are really serious and for real about Him and not and doing it with a pure motive and not doing it just to be seen. Who is really has a hunger and thirst after Him. That's what he's looking for. So and so that's why I'm going to say, I can do this. I can do this. I can follow God completely. I can walk with God completely and not let anything get anyone deter my attention, deter my focus from doing him completely. And 
if you got stuff you working on, all the times you ain't got to be vocal about it. I said in my other vlog, vlog build in silence. Everybody ain't got no wood, so you don't have to be vocal about it. And yes, you always got to consult the Lord. Always consult the Lord. Don't work in self. Don't always go to whoever you trust, whoever is a leader over you, whoever is your mentor. Don't you can go to them, but don't always go to them about the things that you know God called you to do within your heart. Because sometimes they don't know what God is calling or is telling you to do. So you go to them for guidance. Don't go to them for all for um telling for for them to tell you what God is telling you. No. Consult God for yourself. Go to God for yourself. And really believe that you can do this. They are there for your support. Your mentor. Your pastor. Your friends. Your close friends. Family. If they support. Um, are there for support. But you have to go to God for yourself. Because you're accountable for yourself you have to look at yourself because ain't nobody going to go to hell for you. So you have to, and you ain't going to go to hell for nobody because I ain't going to hell for nobody. So we have to really examine ourselves and just get it. I can do this. I can do this. In this new year, I can go back to school, which I'm in the process of working on it to get a master's. In this new year, I can really share with these affirmations in composing a, a work of literature. <laughs> um, this year, I can, people know what that means. Um, this year, I can, I can just do a lot of things. Um, this year, really step up this year really walk into the assignment begin to walk into the assignment begin to walk in my purpose for real without fear without being in my mind without people trying to talk me out of it who really don't believe um just walk in it i can do this so if i can do this i have to walk in it with confidence not just confidence with Godfidence, cause God got me, and I got confidence in Him, and He, he has confidence. Oh, He has confidence in us, but He's waiting on us to have confidence in Him, so we can build the confidence in ourselves and really walk in what He has called us to do. Do what He has called us to be. That's what he's calling for us. Whew. Jesus. But, yeah. Oh, so. I'm glad I did this. I'm glad I'm doing this. Um, whoever watches this, please hit that subscribe button, boo-boo. And subscribe and follow me. We gonna get videos every week. Two or three videos a week. Of vlogging cuz I just love to express myself Woo! all right